I would simply ask you this. How often in a given day do you say, thank you, Lord? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, what about when you wake up in the morning, when you don't have any motivation except that God is your God? Jesus is the Lord of your life, and he's going to walk with you all day long. Gratitude, thanksgiving, we should teach our children that. We should teach them very early in life. If a person's not grateful, you know what they're saying? I don't recognize him as a source of my blessings. I don't recognize him as a source of anything. I can make it myself. Gratitude, thanksgiving, it should be a part of our thinking, a part of our life, a part of how we operate. If this God wakes you up every day, allows you to breathe, see, it's not your alarm clock that wakes you up. Is God allowing you to wake up? The first thing I do, I sit on the edge of the bed, I thank God I'm alive. I just like waking up. And I'm, I'm, I never say, man, I hope, I hope it's a good day today. No. I say, today is going to be a great day. I claim it. I sit down, I just ask God to show me what I should learn today. And he flips, the, I open the book to whatever he wants me to read. And I read it, I highlight it, I take notes about what I learned, I study it, and I try to put it into action. And that's every day. Now, a lot of people say, I don't have time to do that. But you do have time. If you don't have time, you should make time. Because gratitude is the number one way to become successful. So if you ever stop to just thank him for everything he's done for you, gratitude is the number one principle of success. That's what the average person doesn't understand. You could do that today. You can start that today. That would change your life. I kid you not. You, you ain't got to try, just try it. You ain't got to believe me. Try it. I dare you. Every single day when you and I wake up, we can still see, we can still hear, we can still walk, we can still eat. In other words, all the functions that we enjoy every day of the every day. So why not wake up every morning saying, thank you, Jesus. And during the day, thank you. And people say, well, is that what you do? I thank him all the time. In other words, if something good comes my way, I just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or if I'm hurting uh, somewhere in my life, I'll just say, thank you, Jesus. I know that you have a reason for this, and I'm going to trust you to heal me. Thank you, Lord. And let's rebuke the devil. Thank you, Jesus. You're the one who's in charge. We should live lives of thanksgiving all the time. A true heartfelt daily thanksgiving has a powerful impact on our life. In other words, if we're thanking him daily, it's going to impact our life. And that is being aware that you are living in the presence of a holy, almighty, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent God who loves you unconditionally. And all he's asking is recognition, gratitude, and obedience. You get up tomorrow morning and you think, oh, it's cold, this, that, and the other. I'm going to tell you how to get over that right now. When you're lying there moaning and groaning about your job and the weather and the traffic, you just start saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I guarantee you, you'll have energy to hop out of the bed and do what you need to do. Why? Because praise and thanksgiving by its very nature energizes us. Now what you've done, you've got your mind off the traffic, and that's on God. And it's on the blessing that he has for you during the day. It energizes us physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually in every single way. Giving thanks to God removes the anxiety. You can be anxious and worried about anything. You start thanking him, praising him, focusing on him, and it is amazing how the anxiety disappears. Next thing you know, you think, well, you know, what am I worried about? I've got holy, almighty, sovereign God on my side taking care of me. Why am I down in the dumps? Listen, living in the dumps isn't God's plan, and he can get you out real fast. You start thanking him and praising him, the devil runs, and God gets you out, and you're rejoicing and praising the Lord before you know it because anxiety and fretting over things is not the will of God. I think about Almighty God and think about all the things that you and I have to be grateful for in our life. 